There's something among all of us. That urge to get on the water. The urge to get out. To escape. To see something new. And yet see something old. To visit with friends and to be alone. But to be on a boat. The water can be a special place. It can be somewhere where we took someone for the first time, or somewhere where we left something for the last time. Being on the water, our elevation is always the same. It is the world around us that shifts. Although the path of a river is always uniform, a river is dynamic. Its pace changes, its depth adjusts, and its intensity relies on the clouds and mountains of the world around us to provide nourishment. I often return to a stretch of the river near me that's familiar. It is brisk and feisty in the spring. In the summer it is lazy and cooling, and in the fall it reminds me that nothing is always the same. And although I often seek to explore varied waters, I find myself returning to the place I call home. Join me this season on Little Red Tug as I pivot to share more of my experiences in depth navigating waters both near and far. From an urban oasis in downtown Boston to the far reaches of the Trent Severn Waterway in Canada, the adventure will continue. We all have waters within us. Even the most inflexible among us is dynamic. For some, the constant tides erode us, exposing things inside that may not have been revealed. For others, the constantly lapping water adds sediment which helps us to bury those things which we choose to hide. And as Norman MacLean reminds us, eventually, all things merge into one and a river runs through it. <laughs>